We talked about here before, I'm not putting your eggs in one basket. So avoid relying on solely on a single service provider, adopting multi-cloud or multi-CDN, multi-content delivery network strategy to ensure redundancy and minimize downtime during outages. In other words, they had a multi-CDN strategy, not necessarily solely dependent on Cloudflare. And let me know if you're one of those companies. And the outage didn't impact you because you're immediately able to uh, fail over to a secondary provider. And maybe the performance was a bit, you know, degraded, you know, during that time. The scalability was a bit degraded during that time. But you didn't stop service, which is important. And now that everybody's really dependent on these cloud providers out there, uh, you know, certainly software as a service systems and infrastructure systems you already talked about, that's going to set you apart in providing resiliency, you know, through some of these major outages. If you're not dependent on these infrastructure as service providers as the sole dictator of whether you're working or not. And that's just a smart thing to do. So the next would be to develop a comprehensive disaster recovery plan. Uh, and you need a robust, regularly tested disaster recovery plan and business continuity plan that includes clear steps for mitigating service disruptions. And again, I'm, I'm a bit redundant here for what I just said a minute ago, but I can't believe the number of organizations out there that I consult with, I talk with, you know, um, and, you know, certainly people who read my books and, you know, watch these videos or, you know, follow my, my column that don't have these resiliency plans in place and you're just asking for it if you do that and in many cases uh the response to me is going to be well nothing happened in the last 10 years since we started running these systems yeah that's right but that doesn't mean it won't happen now and that doesn't mean it's not going to impact the company to the point of making the company fail i do think that we're going to see companies certainly that are more vulnerable undercapitalized you know things like that that are not going to recover from many of these failures because their clients, and certainly we saw this with the AWS outage and the Microsoft outage, are, and customers are going to give up on them because these outages are basically them stopping service are uh, too, uh, you know, uh, you know, too, uh, you know, happening too much. And I think that many of these companies aren't going to be able to recover for it. And they're going to go out. Obviously, if you're, you know, leveraging a multi-cloud, multi-infrastructure strategy, you know, that's going to cost more money. And if you're a small company, that's going to be, uh, you know, removing capital from your business. But in, in my position and in, in, in my opinion, you can't afford not to do that. That's just good business.